major supermarket chains will be put under the microscope to make sure they aren't ripping off consumers at the checkout. Live to political reporter Cameron Redden, who's in Canberra. Cam, will this put the weight on Coles, Woolies and others to drop their prices? That is certainly the idea, Kenny. This review into the voluntary code that governs supermarkets, the food and grocery sector, has been ongoing since October, but now 100 days into that process, it has a leader. We'll talk about him in just a moment, but it comes at a time when the major supermarket chains, in particular Coles and Woolies, are under significant pressure over the costs that consumers are having to pay at the checkout at a time when both of those companies in particular are recording substantial profits, both in the realm of a billion dollars plus for Coles and Woolies for the past financial year. So while consumers are feeling the pinch, the grocery uh, chains, certainly the major supermarkets, are recording significant profits. We can show you some of those on the screen now. It comes at a time when the government has said it wants to make cost of living the number one priority and driving those pressures down throughout 2024. The government has appointed Craig Emerson, a former minister of the Rudd and Gillard governments, also a former economic advisor to Prime Minister Bob Hawke, to lead this review. And it will be a fast turnaround. He's due to report by the end of this financial year. So it will come after the budget but before the end of June. The Prime Minister has spoken to Sky News and not only did he start the year by saying that cost of living will be his number one priority, but he's also leaving pretty much every option on the table when it comes to driving down prices at the supermarket and any government role that it can have in that. Farmers are providing produce at cheaper levels, but that isn't being passed on to consumers and it's not good enough. We need to make sure that people are treated fairly and they get a fair go. It's not acceptable uh, to see record profits at a time when people are doing it so tough. So in addition to this review that's already underway, the supermarket giants are coming under pressure on a number of fronts. The Queensland premise, uh, Premier Stephen Miles has requested a meeting to explain why prices are as high as they are in some cases. And there's also an ongoing Senate inquiry into the price setting methods of the major supermarkets. That is underway as well. It'll do to, it's due to report back even sooner before the budget in May, Kenny. Yeah, making sure farmers are getting paid enough as well. Cam, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.